President Biden is calling on Congress to suspend federal gas tax through the end of September. ABC's Alex Perche and ABC News business correspondent Deidre Bolton joining me now to talk about, well, could this be an advantage? Alex, let's talk about exactly what is the president's plan here? Well, Kira, so we're expecting him to make these announcements uh, a little over an hour from now, but he's going to call for a three-month suspension of the federal gas tax. And what we know is that, I mean, this could save consumers about 18 cents a gallon uh, as the price of gasoline has now reached a national average of around $5 a gallon. Uh, and so that's roughly about $70 million uh, in savings for the American people daily. We also know that it would cost the government about $10 billion over the course of these three months. And some of the money that uh, they will no longer have would be money that would go to uh, funding key infrastructure projects. Uh, but this is money that the White House believes that they can make up elsewhere. All right, we'll talk a little bit more about where this could uh, cost us in a minute. But Deidre, you know, nearly 48 million people are expected to travel for the 4th of July, including a record 42 million people on the road. I mean, that is a fortune in gas. It sure is, Kara. A huge holiday, huge driving holiday. And just picking up, of course, on what Alex just said, you know, if this gas holiday, the federal gas tax holiday is passed, you know, that could save people 18 cents on the gallon if President Biden is able to encourage states to pass their own gas hol tax holidays. That could be an additional 50 cents of saving. Just worth noting, while gas prices are certainly higher, about 60 percent higher than they were this time last year, they are off their all-time highs, so hopefully that is encouraging news for people who want to take to the roads to see family and friends for the 4th. Kira. Well, Alex, you just mentioned that this plan on behalf of the White House, it could cut funds, like you said, for maintaining roads, highways, potentially impacting supply and demand and pushing prices even higher. So is the president going to address that today in this live event, as you mentioned, about an hour or so from now? Well, Kira, I think it's definitely a possibility. And also keep in mind that infrastructure has been one of the tent poles of this administration. So, I mean, these are concerns that the White House certainly would want to address at some point. But, but again, uh, as we move closer and closer towards this midterm election, we know that so many voters are focused on the economy, inflation, but also gas prices. And so having some something, some sort of a band-aid, this isn't going to be a fix, but some sort of a band-aid going into that season that at least helps uh, give some sort of relief is paramount. And so this this is the White House's uh, plan to at least do something. So Deidre, will this gas tax holiday lower the price of ride shares and flights possibly? Kira, what most economists talk about when they talk about those two categories is really demand and how people feel, how worried they are about their 401ks, how willing they are to spend discretionary income. And that's really what, at least to date, has been driving. We've all seen these airline prices going much higher, and it's because people have essentially been cooped up for two and a half years. They want to move around this summer. They want to take vacations. That is part of what are, is pushing these prices higher. So that's really what we're looking at and of course collectively as we know what we all spend is two-thirds of our economic activity Kira. So Alex Federal Reserve Chairman uh, Jerome Powell uh, you were following this spoke to the Senate Banking Committee today about bringing down inflation so what exactly did he bring to the table today as you monitored this? Well, Kira, what we're getting is a signaling that uh, the Fed could again raise interest rates uh, as soon as next month. He was saying that uh, they're going to be uh, evaluating this by a meeting by meeting basis. We knew coming into this year that the Fed was going to be expected to raise interest rates a number of times. Uh, they already had a, a benchmark rate of, of uh, 1.5 percent points since March, the fastest uh, pace in decades. But again, now potentially signaling another raise in late July. All right. And Deidre, last week, the, you know, the Fed initiated the biggest interest rate hike in three decades. We talked about it all week. Let's talk about, you know, the immediate short term impact that we've seen so far. And what's the long term impact that we are still waiting on? 
Short term impact, I would say up first was those mortgage rates. I mean, three to four months ago, you could go, you could get a mortgage, maybe you paid three and a half percent. I mean, it went up to six percent, in some cases even higher. So that was really an immediate reaction. That's just one example, if you like, Kira. And of course, credit cards, as we know, is super expensive, the most expensive form of consumer debt, national average at 16 and a half percent, that moving higher as well. So those are the short term effects. We saw those exactly right away. As for the longer term, you know, the Fed is really between a rock and a hard place on this, right? The Fed has a dual mandate. Essentially, they are looking to stabilize prices, which means fighting this inflation level at 8.6%. And their aim is for full employment, which we have to say we're pretty darn near that mark right now. So the longer term effect really is, can the Fed fulfill its two roles, its two jobs, which may at this juncture, due to runaway inflation, uh, be contradictory? Kara. All right, a lot to track. Alex, Deidre, thanks guys so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.